Hi, this is my third video about repressive strain injury or RSI. It's about a year and a half since I did the last one, which is too long, especially since I assured people that I'd do one sooner, so sorry about that. In a way it's a good thing that I haven't done one for so long, because it's a sign that things have been a lot better than they used to be, but nevertheless things certainly aren't by any means back to normal. When I last spoke in mid-2009, I was working on a computer game called Lost Winds Winter of the Melodias, available for a thousand points at the Wii Shop channel. And although I was able to work to a certain extent, I had to have a lot of assistance from colleagues, for example, sitting alongside someone and... Uh, getting him to do the typing for me on many occasions. After that, I moved on to a different project, which on many occasions involved working very late at night or during the weekends, which is the kind of work that may well have contributed to me getting RSI in the first place. So in one sense, it was pretty stupid of me to do so, but on the other hand, I managed to get through it okay-ish. I had hoped to go a year without any kind of major relapse of the RSI, uh, as happened in early 2009. I didn't quite manage that, as there was a minor relapse in early 2010, but fortunately it was less severe and more short-lived than the first one. Nevertheless, work was still not easy. On many occasions I had to make use of uh, someone else typing for me at work, but not to the same extent as before, so that was a step in the right direction. And in general, my levels of discomfort from RSI were a lot better. I think partly the improvement came when I started seeing a new physiotherapist who um, specialises in sports massage therapy and it was quite useful to have someone who lived a lot closer to me than the previous person who I was seeing who lived a long distance away and hence I couldn't visit him on a regular basis. So for example when I had my mini relapse I was able to go twice a week. It's now early 2011 and in some ways I'm disappointed because I hoped things would have improved more by now. My situation is a lot better than it was when I last spoke. But in terms of my typing ability the improvement has been fairly small. I still think there's some scope for improvement, but I don't think I'm going to see a major increase in my working ability, at least in the short term. But I still see a physiotherapist once a week and sometimes twice, and I spend more time doing strengthening exercises with him my experience with this condition has made quite a big difference to my outlook on life and it's made me more sympathetic to um, disability and suffering in the world because I was off work for six months and I was in quite a lot of discomfort at times and still have been on and off since then. And yeah, I realised that what I was going through is nothing compared to what millions of people are going through every day. And that's part of the reason why I'm so worked up about tackling climate change, because we have so many problems now that are only going to get so much worse if we carry on the way we are.
I'll leave it there for now, but if anyone has any questions about the condition that they'd like me to answer, then uh, make a comment and I'll perhaps do another video to address those.